Hi guys, how's it going? Jake Wilson here, and you might notice that I don't have a guitar on me. Uh, we're gonna be trying something a bit different today, and as it's the season of giving and all that, I thought I'd point you towards some really, really useful uh, free resources that exist elsewhere on the internet. Obviously, YouTube is incredible for um, content creators who are creating free lessons all over the shop, but I thought I would um, point you towards self-contained, um, almost web page based uh, resources. It's more of an at your own pace kind of study style that I think these things are really lending themselves to. The resource is more than lessons, if you know what I mean. We're so lucky to be living through a time where we can essentially access legitimately good information, um, you know, just with our phones, wherever we go. So I thought I'd point you to some of those resources that in the past uh, well, currently help me as a musician and uh, hopefully they help you too. Now there are going to be so many things I've missed off this list so please leave a comment letting me know um, what resources you found and maybe I'll do a follow-up video on this uh, with some more uh, examples of amazing free resources for us. Now obviously a lot of these sites have free parts and then they have kind of premium products and I would encourage you to support them if you can because it really helps um, just keep all that free stuff free for everyone, you know, that's the way, uh, that's the way it works. So I haven't put these in any kind of order of preference, uh, but just off the top of my head, the most simple one is uh, the Google metronome. So if you just go onto Google and uh, type in metronome, um, it will come up. So if you're quickly trying to get to a metronome um, without any apps or whatever, this is a really quick and easy way to do that. Um, again, if you're on the move and you've got your phone, that's one way to get it if you don't have a metronome app. Um, I've been told that and experienced some kind of uh, glitching on this, but just for a free resource that Google have made available, that's uh, pretty cool and, uh, and very useful. The next thing I'd urge you to check out is to go over to Mike Outram's website and check out his two volumes, I think, of his pages from a notebook lessons. These are really succinct, uh, but quite profound uh, lessons on all things um, music, guitar related, um, and I get a lot of value out of those. Um, so I'd recommend you go over and check those out because there's so many really practical things, but also uh, philosophical things um, that you might want to get stuck into. And Mike is a, an absolutely astonishing guitar player, so definitely uh, check out his playing. So musictheory.net is a, an amazing website that is basically filled with what you might expect, loads of music theory stuff, but it also has some um, interactive content covering things like ear training and orchestration. And it's just a great place to spend time uh, for a whole uh, host of reasons. I think they have some premium apps, so you might want to check those out too. But overall, this is just a really great website for just digging into and answering any music theory related questions you might have. And on that note, I have to say the Wikipedia pages um, for various music theory related um, topics are actually really, really good. Um, so don't be afraid to dip into the Wikipedia uh, world if there are any things you need explaining or, um, or made clearer. Now, IMSLP is just astonishing. Um, when music goes out of copyright, and of course this is different between uh, different regions, different laws apply, but when that happens, the content falls into the public domain. And the upshot of this, it means that we have at our fingertips all basically all the works of the great masters. This is just an unbelievable resource. You could spend a lifetime looking through this website. They've got tons and tons of bark. Um, anything, you know, that's roughly speaking more than 100 years old um, is going to be on there. Um, obviously, that includes things like Beethoven, lots of Mahler, just tons and tons of stuff. So if you want to study those scores, which I recommend that you do, um, and work on your reading and work on your sort of general music comprehension, then this is an absolute treasure trove of stuff to just get your hands on and, and, and have a look. I think there are even some kind of uh, uh, textbook type things that have been written. I think uh, Rimsky Korsakov's orchestration manual is on there. Uh, there may even be some, um, some harmony material. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing resource. Um, yeah, it's, it's just incredible. 
Now, many of you will have heard of Ted Green, uh, an astonishing jazz guitar player known in particular for his kind of chord melody style and his commitment to uh, teaching. His website has just an unbelievable amount of material on there. Um, it's almost a complete jazz course. Of course, you, you have to learn things the Ted Green way, and he uses a, a kind of a, a system of symbols that you might take a little while to get used to. Um, but the transcriptions and arrangements that are on there, the, the lessons that are on there, there's just so much stuff. It would take years to go through that entire website. And, and master everything. And it's incredibly generous that they're putting that out. And I'd really recommend you, even if you're not that interested in jazz, to go over to there and just spend a little bit of time digging around. Um, and yeah, it's just, just a, an astonishing resource um, that everyone should be uh, digging into every now and then. And some of the arrangements that are on the website are just stunning. If you uh, YouTube um, Ted Green, there's not much stuff on him, but just check it out. and. I think some of those arrangements are transcribed on that website. Um, his students have been very, very generous with their time, turning some of the handwritten pages from the lessons into um, well-presented and coherent sheets um, of knowledge, sheets of pure knowledge. So I'd, uh, I'd go and check that out, um, definitely. If you're looking to work on your reading, I'd really recommend checking out The Fluent Guitarist. Now, on this website, they post a new study every day. And um, when I was really getting into practicing my reading, I was on that website religiously. And I tried to have um, the study down at least somewhat musically by the end of that day. Uh, these are um, specifically along the sort of classical guitar lines, but I'd still recommend that if you're an electric guitarist, you use these as your reading exercises. Um, a lot of people, when they get into reading, think that they should be doing um, almost reading drills, if you like. But I, I've, I've been a, a big advocate of people actually reading actual music when they develop their um, reading skills. I think because that um, offers more opportunities for comprehension of um, of certain musical issues, you know, things like dynamics, articulation, accents, and all those kinds of things. Um, and it's also just more satisfying to get under your hands and, and it, it, it just sort of works out more musical muscles. The same could be said of getting like a kind of Bart Partita um, from IMSLP. You know, I really recommend that people do that sort of thing when they're working on their reading, rather than a sort of drill-based approach, which might work for some people, but I just think you get a lot more nourishment from this way of working on things. So while I use the Fluent Guitarist mainly for the, uh, the daily studies, I'm sure there are lots of cool things on that website too uh, for you to check out. So those are some of my favorite free online resources that will help you become a better musician. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions of more of these um, amazing resources. I'd really love to hear them and I hope to do a follow-up uh, video from your suggestions because I think the more knowledge that we share like this, uh, the better, just the better, there you go. Um, and, uh, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you appreciate this content, uh, I really appreciate your likes, comments and please subscribe if you want to see more of this. As always, uh, while I provide this free content very happily, um, if you want to support me and to keep me doing this, um, there's a link to my JTC product in the description box below. So thanks again for checking out this video and uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.